Hi everyone and welcome back to Stamp with Anna. This week I am going to begin showing you some projects made with products that are going to be available in the occasions catalog as well as in the celebration catalog. Now although I cannot show you what's inside the catalog, the catalog pages, I can show you the products and I can show you some projects. So the first stamp set that I'm going to debut is called Heartfelt Blooms. This is such a beautiful stamp set. Look at that. That stamp, it, it's just beautiful. And it's all, the shading is all done for you. All you have to do is pick a color and stamp. The best part of this, it's free. That's right, free. For every $50 that you spend during celebration, which is January 3rd through March 31st, you can pick any free product that's in the celebration brochure. And this happens to be one of them. The products that make up your $50 can come from anywhere. They can come from the clearance rack, they can come from the annual catalog, or they can come from the occasions catalog. The Occasions catalog is chock full of beautiful new products, so I'm sure you won't have any problem coming up with products to buy. This is the cover of the Occasions catalog, and um, these colors are dominant throughout the whole thing. You can just see beautiful, beautiful projects made with these spring colors. And this is the celebration brochure and this is where you would pick out this free heartfelt blooms so without further ado let me show you the project we're going to make and this is just so soft and lovely i love the color combination of pink and gray i just think i like pink and brown and pink and gray and i, I just think those two color combinations are, are gorgeous and like I said, this is very, very simple to do. The shading is all done for you. So what I have, I used Sweet Sugar Plum. This is a piece of cardstock that's eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, which is your um, typical card base. Then my matting piece is a piece of Smoky Slate, and this is cut at four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And then I have for my card front a piece of Whisper White, which is cut at four by five and a quarter. And then additionally, all I need is two little scraps of white and sweet sugar plum. And in addition to this Heartfelt Blooms stamp set, I'm using another one of my favorites. It's the Timeless Textures. This is just great to make backgrounds with, to add a little bit of shabby chic to your project. And this here, I thought worked beautifully with that flower image. So that's what we're going to use. And I'm going to give you a couple tips for when you are using this stamp set. Now, although it is red rubber, and we're always saying don't, when you, when you stamp, just do tap, tap, tap because it's foam and it's, you'll, you'll end up making a mess if you really dig it in there. Because of the way this stamp set is created, you really do want to make sure you get ink in all the little parts of this stamp set. So the first thing you need to start out with is a well-inked stamp pad. I just re-inked my Sweet Sugar Plum. And then I'm going to lay down my stamp, and I'm really going to get this ink in everywhere. I want it to be really, really nicely covered. And although it is a red rubber stamp, and we don't typically use the pierce mat for stamping red rubber, we usually just use it for um, photopolymer, I'm going to use that because I really want to have a nice, crisp image. Now, after you have nicely saturated your stamp set, just go around your block and make sure you don't have any um, ink around it because you don't want to get that on your project. It's been a, a minute, so I'm going to just huff on mine to make sure <clears throat> that it's still nice and um, wet. So now I'm going to place this right about here in this corner here. 
and I'm going to really give it a good press. Like I said, I want to make sure every detail in this gorgeous stamp comes through. And now the moment of truth. Isn't that just beautiful? Look at all the detail. You can see the little mums. You can see the veins in the leaf. It is just phenomenal. I love it. So now we have to do the background. And <clears throat> what I did for the background, I'm going to slip a piece of scrap paper behind me. I stamped this same image onto a piece of uh, cardstock and I fussy cut around it. And I'm going to use that as my mask. I'm going to put that right here. And then I'm going to take that nice stamped image from the Touches of Texture, excuse me, Timeless Textures, and I'm going to ink that up in Smoky Slate. And I'm just going to hold this down and stamp around it. No rhyme or reason to where I'm stamping. I just want to fill in the background. And it almost looks like... Um, wallpaper and now that I've got it almost done I'm just going to come back and see where I could use another bit of the image and one right up there and a little one right there and I think right here okay so there we have our background doesn't that just look so pretty I love it now I'm going to attach that to my smoky slate cardstock and I'm just going to use some snail And there's a very thin border on this. And now I'm going to attach this to my card base. And again, I'm just going to use some snail to do that. Now, although this looks pretty on its own, we're going to make it look even prettier. Okay, so I have a little piece, scrap piece of Whisper White and a scrap piece of Smoky Slate. I'm going to take the sentiment that comes with the Heartfelt Blooms. We're going to use this one here, Sending Heartfelt Thoughts, which would be great for um, a Thinking of You card, a Sympathy card, um, just to cheer someone up. That's a great sentiment. You can use it a lot. Then there's a Thinking of You and a Thank You. We're going to use that one. So I'm going to ink that up in Smoky Slate. And I'm just going to stamp that in the middle of this white piece of cardstock. Now I'm going to die cut that out. And I'm going to use one of my go-to die cut stamp sets, which is the layering ovals. I use the layering ovals, layering squares, and layering circles a lot because it's a great way to be able to add, <clears throat> excuse me, a nice elements to your card and the way I store mine is I have because the, there are so many here I have it on two sides I took two pieces of chipboard and I cut them six by six and glued them together then I attached a piece of um, this magnetic you can buy this at Staples you print out pictures on it to put on a, on a um, the magnetic sheet you put them on a fridge so I cut that out six by six and I put one on one side and one on the other and on this side, I have all of my ovals, and on this side, I have all of my scalloped oval, ovals. So I'm going to use the second-to-largest size oval and the second-to-largest sized scallop oval. And I'm going to die cut this one out and die cut this one out. I'll go over to the Big Shot machine, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with my pieces. I'm just going to mount them. And again, there's a tiny, tiny border on the scallop oval. I just love that peekaboo scallop on that. It just adds something nice, but not too much. And I'm just going to take this 
and put it right here on this edge of the corner. Now, I'm going to add three tiny little pearls to just give it a little something something. And there we go. Now, if you follow me on social media, you know that I love ribbon, and I add ribbon to almost every single one of my cards. But I didn't on this one, you'll notice that, because I thought this stamp, this image, is just gorgeous by itself. I thought a ribbon might overkill, especially with the, um, the background that I chose to do. But I love it. I think it's just as pretty without a ribbon. I am going to make one with a ribbon because I love ribbon and I can't seem to do much without having to use a ribbon once. But anyway, so there is our beautiful Heartfelt Thoughts card. Again, this is a free set. It's available January 3rd when you spend $50 in Stampin' Up! products that come from either the annual catalog the occasions catalog, or even the clearance rack. No matter where you spend your $50, you can get this beautiful stamp set. If you do not have an occasions catalog and you do not have a demonstrator that you work with, I would be more than happy to send one in the mail to you. Certainly just contact me through my blog, www.stampwithanna.blogspot.com. And if you do, I'll have a little something something special for you inside the catalog. Thanks so much. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll be glad to answer them. Thanks so much.